Okay, 6.4.1. Uh, we know that R, S, and T are roots of the, of the equation, so we know that we can factor this into this. And so from there, let's go ahead and expand this to see what we get. So this right here, right, just these ones. Uh, that's going to be this right here. And then we expand it further. All of this is going to be all of this. Now go ahead and order it by by degree of the x power. So here's the x cubed. And then... Uh, here's an x squared and another x squared and another x squared. So group those together. So we have R. That's the first one. Then we have S and then the T. And then from there, just um, find all the degree ones. So the RS, the RT, and the ST. Oh, and I forgot to put an X here. There. Um, group those together, and then finally what we're left with is the negative RST. So we know that this one, since we have the A, X squared, we know that the A squared minus r plus s okay it's okay so this is going to be the a Right, since A is here, then this is going to be the A, and then this is the B, so that's B, and then here's C, so C is all this. Okay, and we have that all here. So from there, I'm thinking, how do we get the R squared plus S squared plus T squared? Well, I looked here. And I thought if I square that, that'll at least get us an R squared, S squared, and a T squared. So I squared A here. And what we end up with is this right here. So we got what we wanted with the R, the S, and the T. But what are all of these? What are all of these values? And notice that RS plus RT, R, RS plus ST plus ST, RT plus ST, yeah, anyway, uh, that's actually B. So that, all of that is 2B. All that is 2B, so right there. And then just put all the A's, B's, and C's on one side, the R's, the S's, and the T's on the other, and sure enough, that's what we have. We have R squared plus S squared plus t squared, well, that's going to be a squared minus 2b squared. And there we go. That's the answer. And it agrees with the back of the book, too.